Hello everyone, you're watching the Century City Westwood Beat. I'm Juliette Lamar and this week track coach Conrad Menwaring faces sexual abuse allegations and could LA be moving closer to reopening? We'll find out, so stay tuned. But first I want to tell you all about our sponsor, School of Rock. If your kid is looking to be a rock star or play in a band, contact the School of Rock. They have classes for ages three and up. Our top story today is about Westside Diners. They're weighing in on the safety of visiting restaurants amid the COVID-19 pandemic. In light of a recent study suggesting in-person restaurant patrons are more likely to contract the virus. We'll be right back with the news after this story. The summer and the past months, uh, some of these social distancing and, and guidelines are like, they're ingrained in me. So, I, like everywhere I go, I'm doing it really kind of without even thinking. The restaurateurs, whom I support, I trust. I know their facilities are clean and that they are following protocol. All right, what's happening in your neighborhood? Track coach Conrad Mainwaring is being investigated by ESPN for decades of alleged sexual abuse of his male athletes. Currently, there are 52 accusers that span over 44 years. A current lawsuit against Mainwaring alleges that he lured a teen to UCLA by implying he worked for and assisted with recruiting students, athletes to UCLA. The lawsuit also alleges that at least one UCLA athletics employee knew of this and was helping with these false claims and provided UCLA backpacks and t-shirts and memorabilia to help recruit these athletes. The civil lawsuit was filed Wednesday against Munwaring and the University of California Board of Regents. Now for some good news, coronavirus news. With positive coronavirus cases currently at their lowest in LA County, could we be moving closer to reopening? According to the public health director, Barbara Ferrer, LA County could be moving towards tier two of reopening stage as early as October. Officials will be examining overall figures at the end of September to determine if Labor Day weekend has caused any surges. We will keep you posted as that story progresses. That's all the news we have for you today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm Juliet Lamar and you take care.